difficult if there is a potential accident then it's more likely that fuel will be the fuel cladding will shatter and the material inside will then get into the canister and if the accident is severe enough can also get out into the environment so I'm very concerned about that aspect of high burn up fuel that it has high highly brittle fuel cladding which can shatter in an accident yeah my name is Marvin Resnikoff and I'm from Vermont now Vermont is where we are closing down a reactor in another year Vermont Yankee reactor so we are part of what's called the anti-nuclear renaissance as opposed to what the industry has been calling the nuclear renaissance I'm going to talk about decommissioning 101 and Arjun is going to talk about decommissioning 102 he's going to fill in all the details I've missed but I'm going to talk about what does San Onofre look like now where is the radioactivity I'm going to talk about the radiation levels that are in each part of the reactor and why it's a difficult task to decommission these facilities in the interest of full disclosure I should mention that I also work for the state of Nevada on transportation issues and we are very concerned about high burn up fuel because the cladding the these in these fuel assemblies are long at San Onofre they're extremely long I was surprised to see that they're on the order of 14 and a half feet long and they have these thin tubes where the fuel pellets are inside and these thin tubes can become very brittle particularly as the burn up as the amount of time that these this fuel stays in the reactor is longer and that makes it difficult if there is a potential accident then it's more likely that fuel will these the fuel cladding will shatter and the material inside will then get into the canister and if the accident is severe enough can also get out into the environment so I'm very concerned about that aspect of high burn up fuel that it has high highly brittle fuel cladding which can shatter in an accident so I'm going to talk about all of that and also about what decommissioning means at San Onofre what's going to be left at San Onofre once they decommission it I'm going to talk a little about the economics whether there's enough money there to take care of the problem 